Tech Revision with Mrs. Swanee Pooh. <laughs> Hi, year um, 10 or year 11. Um, this is a video about manufactured boards. So this is going to be a really short one today. This is going to focus on the three manufactured boards that you need to know, which are plywood, chipboard and MDF. Um, a few properties about them, some uses, and also some things to remember about manufactured boards and why they are used. So firstly, manufactured boards are made by us. They are man-made or woman-made, um, and they bring a variety of different properties. So let's go through the key things to remember about the certain types that you need to know. So first one, plywood. You will have used this in your NEA. OK, I'm guaranteeing that almost all of you have used plywood while you have been in the department. Um, it has some big advantages. It is layers of hardwood or softwood laminated, so glued together, and they tend to be at like 90 degrees to each other, the grain, which makes it very, very, very strong and very stable. Now, by stable, I mean that sometimes with traditional pieces of wood, say we had a piece of pine like this, it can start to bend um, and it can start to also twist um, because of the moisture in the wood it can, that can happen but because of manufactured boards um, because the layers are stuck together so well um, it makes it very stable so it's not going to warp or twist and plywood has a very good strength to weight ratio for how heavy it is it is extremely strong used for um, building um, and furniture, pretty much any use for a manufactured board, if you said construction or um, furniture, you would probably get a mark. Um, plywood furniture, it tends to be quite uh, on the higher quality side because plywood is actually a little bit more expensive than some of the other manufactured boards that you are going to see. Next one is chipboard. This one is much more inexpensive. Okay. So it is actually little wood chips and dust that are squashed together with glue. So you can see you get a little bit of uh, pressure and it's all of these dust and wood chips and offcuts and things stuck together. So it's not a very nice surface finish. So what normally happens is you get something like a, a veneer finish on the top. And this can be this stuff that we spoke about in a plastics video, which is called melamine formaldehyde which is a thermosetting plastic and that gives you a nice high quality either a colour or a fake wood effect on the top. Um, it's not very strong but it isn't expensive. It can be easily damaged by water that's why they always put um, a veneer on the top and it's used for cheap kind of flat pack furniture. So you've probably built some flat pack furniture before it's likely that the inside of it is uh, chipboard. And the last one you need to know is MDF. This is really tiny fibres of softwood held together with glue. So it's a little bit more refined. You can't see any chips in it. It's kind of almost like powdery. Um, the advantage of this is you get a really smooth, uniform surface with no grain. So by grain, I mean there is no kind of wiggly lines like this with knots and all sorts of things like that. You don't have that. You just get a nice smooth surface, meaning that you can apply a finish really easily. It takes paint really, really well. But again, it can be damaged by moisture. So usually you need to put a veneer on the top um, or you need to apply a paint um, finish. So these are the three different manufactured boards that you need to be aware of. And you can see all of them pretty much are used for furniture. So that would be a go to if you get a bit stuck in the exam about a use for a manufactured board. Last thing is we're going to talk through um, naming these manufactured boards. Well, we've just we've just gone through that. So we've got plywood, we've got chipboard and we've got MDF, which stands for medium density fiberboard. How exciting is that? So there you go. And there are some properties that make manufactured boards really, really useful. I've seen this come up in a question before. One of the things that you could say is that you can get it uh, in sheets of a consistent quality. So there are no, um, it's 
consistently the right size. There are no cracks. Um, there are no knots and no defects. So the first thing that you get is you get a consistent quality. Uh, I'm just going to delete that quickly. Um, the next thing that you get is, just going to get rid of that. The next thing that you get is you get really large standard size boards, um, meaning you can cut several parts of a product from one sheet. So if you think about the big machine in the back of the workshop, it's called the CNC router, that uses predominantly manufactured boards because it means, I'm going to draw over here, if you were cutting something out, say the side of a chair or something, you could cut multiple, um, if you were clever with how you put them together, you could cut multiple things out of one large board rather than having to glue lots of individual bits of wood together. So you can get it in large, large sheets. That's a really big positive. You tend to be able to get a good surface finish because you either um, add a paint finish or you can use a laminate or a veneer. OK, and that's what we're talking about with that melamine um, formaldehyde. Which is the stuff that um, gives that really tough, hard finish on the top. Um, you can get really consistent board thicknesses. So you, they don't like vary very much. So, for example, if it's if it's 12 mil here, it's going to be 12 mil here. There won't be much difference in the tolerance. So you get consistent board thickness. Um, this is a really big one. You don't get things like knots and defects because there is no sort of not much of a natural grain. Sometimes you get it in plywood like this, but because of the way that it's layered up, it kind of gets rid of any problems. It, do it doesn't warp or it doesn't bend. Um, so that's kind of carries on with that point there, because sometimes on a piece of wood, um, the 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 um, problem with the grain or going in one direction. So say, for example, if I had something like this piece of wood like this, where the grain is all going in that direction, it would be quite easy to crack it along here um, because wood can be weak across the grain. But because of plywood chipboard MDF, they they don't have any grain, a grain direction, which means actually they're quite they can be relatively strong depending on which one you choose. Um, we've spoken about this already. You get no warping or twisting like natural woods and you tend to get a relatively good strength to weight ratio um, dependent on which of these you go for. But even though you tend to get good strength to weight ratio. So I hope that was useful. Just a really short little video covering those three main types of manufactured boards that you need to know but also some of the advantages and properties of manufactured um, boards. I hope that was useful. See you on the next one.